Um, next, we're bringing the co-pilot to the biggest canvas of all, Windows. You're going to hear a lot from Panos tomorrow about it, but uh, I think that this is going to make every user a power user of Windows. Let's roll the video. So we're going to talk a lot more about Windows, um, you know, tomorrow when Panos is up here. The other thing that we're also very excited to launch is the Copilot stack, right? After all, we've built all these Copilots with one common architectural stack. We want to make that available so that everyone here can build their own Copilot for their applications. Uh, we will have everything from the AI infrastructure, to the foundation models, to the AI orchestration, all the way up to your co-pilots and its extensibility. In fact, the other thing that we're going to do is have common extensibility across all of these surfaces, right? Whether it is ChatGPT, Bing Chat, Microsoft 365 co-pilot, or all of the Microsoft co-pilots. And of course, your own co-pilots, we can share the same extensibility model. This is one of the most powerful things for your developers, for every developer to be able to write a plugin and have it reach billions of users across all of these surface areas. So to be able to show you everything in action from both the plugin extensibility to all of the co-pilots we announced, let me invite up on stage Yusuf Mehdi uh, to come show you all of this. Yusuf, let me throw it Thank over you, to you. Satya. Hi, everybody. We're making fast progress on delivering our vision of your co-pilot for the web and for business. And today, as Satya said, we're excited to announce that we're going to bring chat, GPT, and Bing together as with the default search experience to give you higher quality answers and more timely answers. Let's take a look. Here I am in chat GPT, and as you can see now, Bing is the default. And when I come in and select it, I can now ask sort of real-time queries. For example, let's ask what I should expect to hear from about build and .NET. And what you can see is the results now are more up to date. They include fresh content and they include citations. In fact, if you can see the links on that page there, you can click those and those will take you straight to a web page that's sourced by Bing. We're also excited. Yeah, absolutely. You can clap for it. We're also excited to announce that we're going to bring interoperability between uh, ChatGPT and Bing for plugins. So you write them once and they're going to run everywhere. So as you can see here in ChatGPT, I've got Zillow and Instacart enabled, but I want to show them to you here in Bing Chat. So we'll flip over and you can see again, I've got the same plugins now in both Bing Chat and in ChatGPT. And what we're going to show you now is I'll do a search here for houses in Chicago and I can ask for a set of criteria, learn a little bit about the neighborhoods. Uh, and now I can automatically call Zillow by saying, hey, give me three houses in a certain price range that meet my criteria. And what you can see is now I get these great options, and I'm also going to get all of the other great things you get with Bing, like helpful city guides and maps and prompts. 
I'm going to tell you now how we're going to further add value to the plugins that you write. They're going to work not just in chat and ChatGPT. They're going to work across the entire web, courtesy of the Edge browser. So here's an example. I'm on a web page here checking out a recipe for a cake. And now I can call Bing Chat and ask it to tell me, hey, give me the ingredients from this web page. And notice Bing can read the context of the web page, understand those ingredients, put them into chat. And then I can say, hey, give me a shopping list for this. And it'll automatically call the Instacart plugin, take those ingredients that are right off the page and put them into an Instacart shopping. And with one click, I can get those now delivered to my house. This is an incredible productivity benefit for people. Uh, let's, let me show you now how, yeah. Let's show you how you'll be more productive at work. Uh, here, I'm going to use Microsoft 365 Copilot. I, now I'm in Microsoft Word, and I'm going to uh, need some help for drafting a legal contract. I got a legal contract here, and I need some help with California law. So I'm going to call three plugins from Thomson Reuters to edit this document. First thing is I'll go into Copilot, and I'll, I'll pull it up, and I'll say, hey, help me understand how to edit the limitation of liability using the practical law plugin. It'll read the document, find the paragraph, and make that change. Next, I want to know if this is enforceable under California law. So I'll call the Westlaw plugin that will do that analysis, and it'll come back and give me an analysis about it from a legal perspective. And finally, since we're making lots of changes, I'd like to know the, to, the summary of all of these changes. And with document intelligence, I get a simple table that shows you all of those changes in an easy-to-read format. By joining the power of Microsoft 365 Copilot in Word with the support of these real powerful plugins like Thomson Reuters, now you can draft a legal contract in so much more powerful way. Let me show you one more. Here I am in Teams chat, uh, and I'm engaging with Microsoft 365 Copilot to track website changes. Copilot will just call the Atlassian plugin to help. Atlassian Jira specializes in project and issue tracking. So it'll pull the Jira ticket automatically with the plugin, and now all I have to do is assign uh, an owner using the Azure Vector directory, and that's it. It's all done. So with plugins and Microsoft 365 Copilot, you can intelligent reason across all of your business apps and the data stored in the Microsoft Graph to keep you in your flow. Finally, as Satya shared, we're excited to announce the Windows Copilot. I think it's going to change how you use your PC forever. Let me show it to you. Here I am in a coding project on my PC, but I want to configure my PC to help me be more creative and more productive. All I have to do now is invoke the Windows Copilot. Uh, I now just come down here to the taskbar, I click on that, and now we'll pop up the Windows Copilot on the right. This side pane here will be consistent across every app that you use on your PC. And just like with Bing Chat, I can now ask it questions like, how can I adjust my system to get work done? And not only will I get a bunch of great suggestions, but watch this. I can now, with one click, take action on those suggestions. For example, I can put it into focus mode. Uh, I also know that as developers, we like dark mode. There's a suggestion here for dark mode. So with one click, I'm now here on the dark side. And, uh, and to really get going, I want to get that coding playlist going. So I'll pull the plugin from Spotify and say, give me a great coding playlist. In this case, chill vibes will come up. And now I'll have it ready to go. And finally, there's a suggestion here that says, hey, to organize your PC, let's take advantage of Snap. So with one click, it snaps all the windows right in the place I need them so I can be super productive. What do you think? So as you can see, we have an incredible array of powerful AI-powered co-pilots. We've got over 50 plugins already available for customers and thousands more coming. I can't wait to see what you're all going to build. Thank you very much. Yusuf. <laughs>